Welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I'm Alex. This is still the Star Trek New Horizons mod for Stellaris. And I should be moving in here to cut off the Romulans. I should have been doing that for a while now. Engineering Corps has finished. Constitution class heavy cruisers. Yeah, yeah, it could be the Constitutions. I'm not gonna be too terribly excited about them, but maybe maybe they're better than I'm under the impression that they are. Maybe they are better than I expect them to be. There would probably be a better way to phrase that. Oh boy. I don't know why you're following the second fleet, and why you're not just taking out Gorn, but... Initiating communications. At least you're moving shit around. You're acting like you're doing something even if you're not. I gotta admire that. Or at least respect that. Even if the AI is bugging out not doing anything, it's making a real show out of doing nothing. Ships upgraded. Cool. Ships upgraded. The heavy fleet is looking heavy as ever. <sighs> Question. I oh, 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 Crossfield's done. Why the hell did you assign to the Enterprise? Right, get get the fuck out of here. Huh. I guess you defaulted back to this. Can you not <laughs> default back to that? Is that possible? Event-wise, there were some new events early on between the Founders of the Federation. Ah, okay. Hmm. But and they've, they've added some other small things, but I'm not sure how they work at all. So, Spore Drive. Still taking 622 days to get over here. Spore Drive not working properly? I'm thinking Spore Drive is just not working properly. Because I'm seeing... With this selected, I'm seeing that it wants to... Ah, initiate jump. Order selected jump drive enabled fleets to make a jump bypassing the system. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a maximum range? Well, you know, it's better. Navigation failure. Sensors show significant hull damage after the last jump. More intrinsic scans indicate small ruptures all over the hull. Engineering teams have already been dispatched to deal with the situation. This is a disaster. Ah, oh, great. Well, they're faster. Are they better? Mm. <laughs> Anomaly detected. I don't know. I don't know. A wavering signal haunts Wemoil 1, though it does not seem to originate from the planet's surface. Jump drive is, uh, not something I'm in love with. Initiating communications. Oh. Especially because it's not in addition to the existing warp drive, it's instead of the existing warp drive. It is technically faster, but it also has some pretty damn major complications. Maximum sustainable warp factor is 8.1, which 
leads me to believe it's a little bit faster overall. But I'm seeing warp speed here plus 110%, whereas here I'm seeing plus 5%. So minor mixed signals, I think. Ah, <sighs> <laughs> oh, you know, maybe it is actually better with the excess energy cavitation because that reduces jump charge time by 25%. Yeah, and if you are doing a bunch of jumps, that's... Ah, eh, damn it. The game was right to be focusing on that. Initiating communications. Jump will be possible in one day. Okay, let's just go ahead and jump back to Seoul. Navigation failure! And it got destroyed. Eh, a lot of navigation failures. I do not think it's worth it. I think it's cool, but... No... Technology no, no, no. I rolled two navigation failures in a row. <laughs> in a row. That puts a pretty bad taste in my mouth for it. If I'm desperate later on, I might consider it, but I'd have to be pretty desperate. Colony development speed. Honestly, let's go with this. Alright, 110%. The Madanan people welcomed into the Federation. Dope. Settle on a colony world. Goodbye, influence. Slightly reduced influence. I. You're moving in there. They weren't colonizing this. No, this savanna is strictly uncolonized. I have not had the android event yet. Not on this run. I did on our previous campaign, but it's going to be quite a while before we get that. Data doesn't show up for quite some time. I guess this is fine. This benefits three things. Yeah, this is fine. Ransom ears. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, clean up the transmission. I've seen this a million times. think about dealing with the Ransom Ears. Truth be told, I'm not really feeling all that urgent about pursuing this generic Stellaris quest. Or mission, or anomaly, whatever you want to call it. Thing. Let's move you right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting war would be interesting. Getting, uh... Getting Special data is what I got last completed. time, but... We can change. Uh-huh. Log updated. Yeah, I'll rescue you, definitely. Where is this? Hmm... Construction complete. Yeah, I'm not rescuing you. Construction <laughs> complete. Not for a long... Long time. Oh man. Orion, three states, you need to get in my federation. Or, well, you know, become a member planet because I can't fucking wait. <laughs> To change our Starfleet construction methods to something I actually like. Ah, oh, that'll, that'll make me very happy. <laughs> now we're processing all the dilithium we can. I could, though I think this is a stupid idea, I could switch over to synthetic dilithium production somewhere. Not really into that idea. 
Birmingham is staying. Yeah. This is Spica is size 14. Why am I holding on to this? Uh, so I could finish plopping shit down on it and sign off on it and then walk away. Yeah, 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 yeah. complete. So that the AI wouldn't build any unnecessary or unwelcome structures, mostly. Some more Corbium. Delightful. We go in here, we create a new sector, we put on Spica. And we make damn sure that the AI is doing what it's supposed to do on Spica. Good, 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 good. Now, Ard is now one of our most far flowing systems. Might as well put our 23rd Starbase out here. The Ferengi. God, I forget what the Ferengi had. The Ferengi also get evasion, don't they? I recall them being fairly okay. Ferengi gets. Minus 20% hull strength, test plus 10% shield strength, plus 20% evade. Technology discovered. Whereas the Orions get plus 20% evade, 10% more expensive, but 5% extra weapon damage as well. So the Orions, in my opinion, are just the best, short of like the Borg or something like that. Obviously, reinforce hull. We just got Constitution class heavy cruisers, so we should take a look at those. Get Tritanium holes. Alright, game. Tell me of this. Constitution. Okay, extended tactical is what I'm going to want. It's an 8.5, 9.5. Yep, coherent phasers are still the best. Jesus Christ, this is going to do an obscene amount of damage. Alright, 114.6. Gonna be hard to top that. 114.6. Yes. Nope, the first stage refit is absolutely what I should be building. In terms of raw damage output. Fish Prime Minister, best Prime Minister. So this boosts weapon damage, armor, shield, and ship hull points. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> That's pretty fucking good and hard to argue with. Okay, let's give this secondary command station. Now this gives better tracking, which is nice, but we do already have a lot of guns. Science console would boost a lot of things. Weapon range would be nice. Shield and armor penetration could also be quite good. There's the constitution. Can I compare the... Kelvin and the constitution? Holy shit, the Constitution is just miles better than the Kelvins. Alright, alright, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's actually for the best, because I have too many of these. Goodbye, heavy fleet. There were too many of you. And the Constitutions are heavier than you ever could be. And that also frees me up to expand our <laughs> Fast Fleet 1 and Fast Fleet 2, the two that really did the majority of work. Well, Fast Fleet 2 didn't do any work in the last war, because it wasn't in the last war. 
But if it had been, I'm sure it would have contributed valiantly. That. Thank you. Fish Prime Minister. Protect us from the the coming probe. Are you colonizing something? Oh my god, you are. You took the Necro Cloud Nebula. Ah. Well, yeah, you're welcome to it, I suppose. In the long run, it'll be mine anyhow, so sure, sure, I'm fine with this. So we're going, buddy. Yeah, you got some got some transports? That's cool. That's cool. It's just following around the second fleet, huh? You've taken Gorn. Why the fuck are you not doing this? I guess they're trying to force war exhaustion without opening Survey themselves up complete. to getting exhaustion of their own? I don't know. Seems odd to me. Seems very odd to me. Because if you have if you have naval dominance in space and you can just take all of someone's star bases but never have to make a landing, then you probably minimize your losses in terms of you getting more exhaustion, but I don't know. I feel like the AI is pretty consistently mishandling its fleets and complete. armies. And I'm not saying that to be rude, I'm saying that because I'm concerned. <laughs> well, it's a little sad that the spore hub drive ended up being so lackluster, but maybe later jump drives will be more exciting. Yeah, show me the frigates. I'm keeping the salad in class. Yeah, show me white cruisers. Construction complete. Uh, you know what? Honestly, retire the Kelvin. Long range explorers. Uh, no, keep the Miranda. Absolutely keep the Mirandas around. Mirandas are a long term. Long term investment, long range explorers. No, multi mission vessels. The Walker. I'm okay with this getting retired. Yeah. Initiating communications. Heavy cruisers. We are retiring the Ares. Yeah. Keep the Constitution, retire the Ares. And evaluate them. Okay. Great deal. Construction complete. Yeah, that makes sense. Capturing shipyards first. But I've I've seen the AI. Um particularly when the Klingon Civil War happened, Kidmer and Epsilon Hydra were both taken, everything else the Klingons had taken back, but they were sitting in Kronos with their transports, not going anywhere. The way the war exhaustion would have ended up ticking up is that the Klingons would have had to wet one go, at least. And the planets weren't even defended. The planets didn't have a single defensive army on them. So I, I, I can't figure out why the hell the AI is being like, ah, nah, let's just not use armies. But they are flying them around with their fleets. Technology discovered. I don't have any other mods running because I'm not a dum dum. So, <laughs> can't be blamed for that. I have New Horizons, New Horizons subcontent mod, and I have a mod that makes borders smaller. That sure as fuck, that graphics file modification should have affected exactly nothing in the long run. Do 
Thorn are angry at the Husnox. Thorn should really stay in their lane. Gonna have a hard time staying independent. Let alone being able to be angry at people. Mev! Oh, Defender War Exhaustion is at 100%. Construction complete. The Lavrilians have joined the Galactic Alliance. Galactic Alliance being this. Mev! So you should be able to force peace any time now. Why don't you? Are you just waiting for the end of the month, or maybe the end of the year? Technology discovered. Hmm. Alright, I don't know what's happening there. But hopefully it'll resolve itself. Max influence from factions? Oh god, yes. <laughs> please. Please, lord, yes. Construction complete. Get some science. It's something. It's not much, but it's something. Alright, Fleet Manager. Great new Constitution class. Nope, make three of them. Yeah, start out small. Construction complete. Mm -hmm. Survey complete. All right. I was about to say, you know, I should be clearing out all of these little hostile aliens. No, I shouldn't. Because our borders haven't reached their full extent in the core yet. Anomaly so, detected. if I can keep expanding, then I can keep saving these to later. Op optical sensors isolate a cluster of shapes in the barren wasteland of Raza 1 that could be buildings. Construction complete. Okay. Why do you insist on torturing the Gorn? Mev! Better yet, Gorn, why the fuck are you not surrendering here? Well, because it would result in your complete annexation, possibly. Still, I am a little bit confused. Just a little bit. Construction. Are you complete. actually using transports? The, the madmen. They're. Nope, they're not doing it. Land on Macon Floor, which has complete. zero garrisons? Nah. I'd rather take this full offensive asset, 005, completely elsewhere. Uh, <laughs> why? Why you gotta be so fucking stupid? <laughs> Construction complete. I just do not understand. Oh boy. Give us gonna dis Really running out of room. Complete. Just about everywhere. Can I please build another trade depot? Nope. Not until it's recolonized, and it's going to take a minute to get recolonized. Mm -hmm. The Changeling, oh right! 
facilities on Earth have made some progress. Eliciting a response from the infant changeling, it appears to have developed a Nero-like property to a level sufficient to be aware of its surroundings. Exposure to various electromagnetic stimuli can help speed its development, however, the equipment required is not standard issue. Fabricate the required equipment. Updated. Naturally. Morphogenic fluid requires extensive analysis to fully understand. 240 days remain. Give me a changeling. Give me a changeling leader. They live forever. I, I think. Let me confirm this. Maybe. Cordan 3 descends into nuclear war. Yeah, here's the new irradiated texture. Yeah, 900 plus years old. Not immortal. There are leaders with the immortal tag, but we, uh, coming hides. Change wings are not one of them. Complete. Construction complete. <laughs> Long fucking way to go. Initiating communications. Okay, yep, 3,000 minerals. Technology Don't discovered. Mind if I do. Better tractor beams, not crazy about that. Modulating shield frequencies could be fine. Initiating communications. Mm, maybe that might have been a good deal, but I don't want to think about it. I have been neglecting my science ships again. So easy to do. It is so easy to do. Occupied a couple of worlds, or at least a couple of systems, few systems, in the Shiliac corporate. Hmm. Mev? Construction. I would very complete. much like to see the Gorn surrender. Given that they should be surrendering. He was gonna dis <laughs> There's lots and lots of stars. These are this is the biggest swath of unclaimed space left. Prime for the Cardassians, Breen, Nibirites, Tarogan, and Tamarians to move in. Technology I, discovered. If the Tamarians moved in, it would make it really easy for us to grab it. Honestly, I hope somebody else gets it. <laughs> I hope that somebody else takes the initiative. It's fun to win, but it's fun to earn winning. Construction complete. How many prayer pops so far? Let's take a look. The prayer are not very big. 62 of them. Not bad. Not 
not that at all. Most numerous species in the galaxy are the Vorta. Then the Klingons, then the Romulans, then the Betazoids, because I'm effectively using Betazoids as just better humans. Then the Tamarians, Shiliak, Borg, Cardassians, Nivorite, and Dorians, mostly made up of the Anars. Bodvar, the Breen, Hrojan, Orions, Argrathians, Deltans, and then humans. Session talks with the Orion Free States and just. I wish I could go faster than communications. Full intensity negotiations, but alas, I cannot. I could stop all forward expansion and wait. Might not be a terrible idea, frankly. Try to save up influence to integrate the Orions more quickly. Would it allow me to hop into another coalition? Right after. Construction complete. Unexpected saviors. The Niberite Alliance and us will get along better than ever because they saved our people. Boy. Hmm. Ah, I can have another star base. War has broken out. <laughs> Oh, you started with that. Orbital Science Center. I suppose war is broken out between the Cardassian and Zinkethi. Hmm. Hmm. I'm rivaled with both of you. We are ready. <laughs> Technology discovered. Hmm. It might benefit me to attack the Zenkethi while they are being attacked in order to get them to flip their ideology. Discovery is fairly nice. Preservation would make people happy, as would diversity. Do any of these have anything to do with imports? No, no. Unity. Uh, trade agreements. No. Xenobiology lab. Anomaly. Discovery chance. Failure. Yeah, sure. Let's let's go down discovery because pushing the frontier will actually help boost our unity output fairly significantly. And the rest of these are just generally pretty good. <laughs> Special project. The complete. changeling having been exposed to capofan radiation, the changeling infant has demonstrated her signs of awareness towards stimuli. During the experiment, the changeling created an elongated tendril which pushed the scientists conducting the experiment away from their console. Researchers believe it's now time to bring in a team of xenobiologists to complete the next stage of the changeling's development. Single or a whole team? Long whole team! Updated. Whole team! 300 days, yeah. Money is not really a concern here. Only the best tutors for my weird ass change wing baby. Only the best. Only the finest. <laughs> Survey complete. Assassination, assassination attempt prevented. Our intelligence agencies have successfully foiled an attempt by the Romulan Star Empire to assassinate a high-ranking member of the administration. While the attempt was nearly succeed, successful, the Tau Shi'ar agents involved with key evidence of their involvement. Prime Minister Salman, Prime Minister Salmon, has condemned the Romulan government for their interference. Salman.
Yeah, the Cardassians would absolutely beat the Zinkethi. The Breen are beating the Shuiak. And the Klingons are beating the Gorn. It's it's good and terrifying to have growing neighbors. Assuming, of course, that the Klingons actually ever take Gorn. Survey complete. Or if they just continue to bomb it for more bits. Let's see, nothing has been colonized in Ard yet. So that makes things a little bit trickier. Absolutely would love another shipyard. I suppose a fleet academy would be called for here. Ship starting experience plus 100. Oh, it's a pity I haven't had that sooner. We can have yet another starbase. We'll have one here, we'll have one here. We have one here. I suppose let's get one in way. It's close-ish to the Romulans, but that's not really why I'm doing it. It's further north. That's my main motivation. It's more coreward than anything else. Seems like the way to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ba -ba -ba. Let's look at planets and sectors. Everybody's favorite pastime, very fun stuff, micromanaging tiles. And let me say, I just, I cannot wait until this shit is over with forever. <laughs> Tile system. Oh, I won't, I will not miss it. I hope, God, if I miss it. Things have gone horribly wrong. Five. How are you producing food? You're fine. And I did pop down a paradise dome. Yep, no, you're good. I go four. Short on food, short on energy. Delightful. Terra Nova. Very short on energy, everything else is totally fine. XNR. I'll absolutely upgrade that. Shant and fine. Zoo is remarkably overproducing on food. By 14, huh? Call that 13, 12, 11. 11 too much food. Oh. So let's replace this with them. Um... Hmm. I do not know. I guess a new center. It's not the most exciting thing, but it gives unity. Beta Prime Sector. So many things to upgrade. Ooh, dear god. Go ahead and give you Survey sensor. complete. New sensor. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Upgrade all the things. Gamma Iridani Prime, complete. Beta Prime, more upgrading to be done. <laughs> That's done with the Beta Prime sector, moving on to Murphid Prime sector. 
<laughs> got a couple lab upgrades. Mercury Prime itself. Got a lot of a lot of upgrades. Survey complete. Hmm. There goes Murphy. Way Prime. Way, no way, way, no way. Is almost certainly overproducing food and will continue to overproduce food for uh, really the foreseeable future. This is it done. What the USS Einstein found on Barraza were not buildings, but surprisingly regular mineral outcroppings. Officer Serana Kitane asserts their angular blocks of rock are the product of interactions, <laughs> interactions, interactions between tectonic plates. Their shapes and the result of the unusual techno tectona physics, tectona physics, inherent in the planet's outer crust. Perfectly, the perfect angularity of these thrusts faults. These thrust faults implies a possibility of aliens tampering with the crust at some point in the past. Oh man, I struggled with that. I don't think I've seen that event before. It's actually pretty impressive considering how much time I've put in this game. And then give this to Power Plant and this to Interstellar Academy. We're not overproducing by food here, so I can't get that as a cop out. Vega 3A. Find Cognitz first. Being fine and dandy. Overproducing by 16 food. That's absurd. Okay. Well, both of these can go. So we'll replace... Oh, no, I can't replace this. I just have to replace these. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Spaceport? Wow, no. Okay. Special project complete. Hold the phone on the changeway. Heroic landmark, and for this... Fuck, I guess a new center. The change wing has progressed well. Having formed itself into an imperfect replica, the lead xenobiologist assigned to the product, <laughs> product project. The infant appears to be trying to communicate with the research staff. The project overseer has requested the information on a xeno anthropology team. Yeah, assign Long a whole team. Updated. 420 days. Oh, a long time. Long time. Orphean Sector. Let's so see if this is still in speak span shape. Technology discovered. Regenerative heals too. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab those. Spica Prime. Get all of the upgrades. <laughs> Construction complete. Genuinely, I suspect something is Mev. wrong here. But it may just be that the AI likes to wait until war exhaustion ends the war, and they don't have to manually super peace. That could very well be the case. I don't... We have located the Tachyon I don't like it nor understand it, but... I'm trying to. Construction complete. Survey complete. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, this is a lot of idling around. It's a lot of idling around and waiting for influence right now, which is not the most thrilling shit on Earth. Or in the galaxy, I suppose, as the case may be. It's not the most exciting thing. It is important. I... I know I sound like someone advocating kids to do their homework. It's important! It may not be fun, but you should still do it, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The the promise of improved performance in the next version of Stellaris is just a siren song. Like, really? Really? Will things be faster? Will the AI be better? Because if you can do both of those things at once... Oh, you'll make me very, very happy. And eliminate so much of my distaste for this game at times. Alright. Establishing colony. There we go. Oh goddamn time. <laughs> That took a hot minute. A he must long, come up hot minute. <laughs> There's quite a few wars going on. I wish there were a war mm, map mode. Or better map modes for gauging what exactly is going on. The Klingons are at war with Gorn. Borg are at war with the Devor and the Norcadians. Technology but discovered. I I actually haven't looked at the Devor Imperium at all. It doesn't look like the Borg have either. Enhanced worker bees is fine. Class F shuttlecraft. Not really all that exciting, but it's something. Yeah, the Dominion's pretty isolated. I mean, that's what they want. They must gun up this. We power map mode. Well, it's... If we go relative to me. Everybody's an itty bitty baby. The Borg are the only ones with a stronger fleet than I have. It, eh, it wouldn't really tell me whose fleet got wiped because, like you're seeing, just about everybody's in the green relative to us. Which is ridiculous. Makes me feel like I should have played at a higher difficulty, but I'm already playing at a more... I hate the AI getting bonuses. I would rather the AI just be able to Survey use their resources complete. effectively and invest in things effectively rather than needing so much hand-holding. Not trying to complain. Alright, this this I should have right-clicked a while ago. I keep on left-clicking on that thinking it's something new. All the wars going on are slowing things down a little bit. Oh, to see from their perspective? Mev? Probably. No, no you can't. Oh yes, yes you can. But in some cases it's... Eh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, god, the Breen have brought a good fight up here to the Shiliac. Again, I don't think that they've occupied any planets, which just confuses and confounds me. It signifies to me maybe I should take a break from playing New Horizons for uh, a few days, play Fallout 3 or something else, in case this needs to be patched. Mm. But I think it's just, uh, I don't think it's a new bug, I think it's an old thing. Yawn, 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 yawn.
In some ways, we've made much more progress than we did by this time of the game. The last time we streamed uh, as the Federation. On the other hand, it looks like we're going to get locked in, especially in the core, a lot earlier on. And it may be more difficult for us to expand. But the Borg aren't really expanding that much, and all of our neighbors are at war with each other, which is either an opportunity for them to get stronger, or it's an opportunity more aptly for me to get involved. I, yeah, I really don't know what to think of it. This is scaling difficulty, so they should be advantage as time goes on. This is also on Commodore difficulty as well. So it's scaling and Commodore. I... I don't love playing on the super high difficulties as the AI can sometimes just steamroll you. That can be a horrible, horrible time. Mm -hmm. Well, you're trying to strike back. Yeah, I don't really know what to make of things. Construction complete. End of an enterprise. There are a few ships in the fleet with this distinguished service as the Enterprise. However, years of service have taken their toll on the vessel. The Admiralty now believes it's time to retire the Enterprise to allow a new ship to be built to carry the name forward. Alternatively, it would take a substantial investment in resources to keep the Enterprise spaceworthy. Note, do not reassign a leader to fleet if opting to retire the Enterprise. Hmm. Retire. Technology discovered. Why are you going to Stroop 2398? War has broken out. Alright. It's Rogan and the Argrathi. Yep. Makes sense. Regenerative shoes, self refining assembly algorithms. Yeah, okay. Am I crazy about it? Nah. But it could be nice. Yeah, well if I if I do a hard reset limitations. Uh we have to we can't share communications with anyone. We have to explore things ourselves. Number one. Number two, I need to keep our borders as contiguous as possible. If there's an opportunity to expand like up here or an opportunity to fight this and expand in here, I should always take the one geographically closest to Seoul. Yeah, medium intensity. That seems like it could be could be enough to give the AI enough time to expand for me disadvantaging myself. I mean, the AI is already doing much better than before. Ah, Gorn Hegemony has capitulated to the Klingons. We have some Gorn. The Gorn Hegemony is off the map now. You got Gorn. One Gorn. Preference, Reptilian, very strong. Yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. So yeah, it seems like... Huh? You got transports in the system. Maybe you did it. Maybe you did it. Maybe you didn't. Who knows? Ah, yeah. Setting difficulty to low might... Might help. Initiating it's, communications. It's frustrating trying to figure out the exact right balance that the AI performs he best at. A little bit of 
this, a little bit of that. Buran, automatic exploration. Special project complete. The lead xenoanthropologist assigned to the change wing has successfully taught the being to communicate verbally. Having formed itself into a crude representation of a human, it has begun to question its position in human society. Understood. The ch <laughs> I am yo-yos. The Changeling, your scientists have recently guided along to sentience. I'm grateful to the human people for having raised me and taught me how to master my shape-shifting abilities. I would love to serve in any capacity I can. Excellent! What the fuck kind of leader are you? You are a shapeshifter. Admiral. Ah, why did you have to be an admiral? Okay, alright, well. Affirmative. It assigned, I, I guess? Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know what to think of this. The four is quite good, right? But it. it this actually does something, whereas. This does nothing. Ah, you know what? She can have it for now. Let's take a look at these constitutions. Big ships. Big enterprise. to the heavy fleet. Well, we've got our change wing all wrapped up with a bow. Maybe they'll turn out to be alright, maybe not. Now, at the end of this month, I am going to pause, save, put in a cut here, and I'm probably going to stop streaming as well. Because I've streamed many, many hours today and I've slept very little. Thank you for hanging out with me, both on Twitch and those of you that are watching this on YouTube after the fact. I'm having fun. This is getting a little slow paced with everybody going to war with each other and the uh, processors slowing way the fuck down, but that's alright. That's alright. I'm still having a good time. I'm looking forward to continuing playing this. Until tomorrow, Make sure to comment, share, like, subscribe, follow on all the stupid social media pages, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, you, you know the deal. Until tomorrow, toodaloo, take care, Bye bye YouTube.